a brother and sister who never met before were brought together here in Honolulu today with a little high technology oh help. God. Yeah. God, this is so wild. <laughs> Today's meeting at Honolulu Airport was the first time 28-year-old Colleen Terry and 29-year-old Robert Burnett had ever seen each other. The two share the same biological parents, but both were given up for adoption when they were born. Colleen lives and works in Hawaii. Ten years ago, she learned she had an older brother. Last year, she began searching for him on the Internet. That led to a referral. And finally, last week, they found each other. When I opened this letter, it was from a court-appointed intermediary that Colleen had hired. And she's like, well, I'm, my client uh, is an adoptee looking for her biological family, and the search for her brothers led me to you. And I'm like, wow, I went and poured myself a double gin and tonic and <laughs> sat down. And not that I'm a big drinker, never drink by myself, but this was a special occasion. And we have so, oh my, we've spent a lot of time on the phone, and we have so many things that are alike. I mean, traits and characteristics. and. It's, it's amazing. That's so <laughs> really weird. Amazing. We have the same things around our eyes and our forehead. And our, we have the same teeth. Well, those are my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> well, Robert lives in Los Angeles, and you know, they were happy to discover not only do they share some of the same features, but also they share the love of movies and candy. <laughs> That's oh, terrific, yeah. Yeah. God. And they really do look a lot yeah. like each other. How great. Good looking couple of <laughs> With each passing minute, computer users are finding more ways to take advantage of the Internet. For example, you can get tax help, you can shop for movie posters, mm -hmm. or you can follow sports. And tonight we've got the remarkable tale of how a Honolulu woman found her long-lost brother through the net. Marvin Buenconseo joins us now from the newsroom with their storybook ending. Marvin, tell us about it. Well, with a computer just like this one, Carol Terry, so excuse me, Colleen Terry was able to locate her brother Robert Burnett through a search company over the internet. Now they've been corresponding for about a week now, but today, this afternoon, for the first time, the two saw each other for the first time in 28 years. After what seemed like an eternity once Robert's flight from Los Angeles landed at the Honolulu International Airport, the moment of truth finally arrived. I made it. I didn't crash. This is the weirdest moment of my life. 28-year-old Colleen and 29-year-old Robert were put up for adoption after they were born in Seattle, Washington. We have the same teeth. I had no, no clue or inclination that I had any kind of a biological sister until I got a letter in the mail. And that letter was sent as a result of a digital search, a hunt over the Internet. A friend of mine had cut out an article of a, a photo of a reunited reunited father and son that it went through the internet which gave me the idea that's when Colleen came here to the internet cafe she contacted a service called Madrona research ten months later bingo actually in this wild computer world of bytes sites and links it's remarkably easy to search for someone you're looking for but finding that person well that's another story most of the time people are, are disappointed or they come in, they get a really long list, and now they have to go phone all these people. You know, it's kind of hit or miss. If the person has an email address, or if they're listed in the phone pages anywhere in the U.S., real good chance you're going to find them. As for Colleen, who concentrated her internet efforts in Seattle while Robert lives in Beverly Hills, it didn't hurt to have a touch of luck as well. I'm starting to buy lottery tickets now. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to join Ed McMahon's sweepstakes offer. I mean, Ed's coming to my door soon, I can tell. Actually, Ed will probably come to his, her door because she's lucky. Actually, they're both pretty lucky. For those of you folks at home, if you are interested in trying to locate a loved one through the internet, but you don't have a computer, don't worry. There are a handful of cafes like the internet cafe that you saw that have these computers available and humans to help you and it's for about six bucks an hour boy that's a cheap thing marvin to find something like that it's worth a lot of money as for colleen and robert besides 28 years of catching up to do colleen tells us she's got a big surprise planned for her big brother this weekend and we'll be sure to keep you posted